Ganymede, a moon larger than Mercury, orbiting the mighty Jupiter, a world of ice and rock, with secrets waiting to be discovered. Discovered in 1610 by Galileo, through his rudimentary telescope, a faint point of light challenging the Earth-centered view, spacecraft have flown past, sending back breathtaking images, revealing a world of incredible diversity, expanding our cosmic horizons. Ganymede, a silent sentinel in Jupiter's court. Ganymede is a world of extremes. Its surface is a frigid wasteland. Temperatures plummet to hundreds of degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The thin atmosphere offers little protection from the harsh radiation of Jupiter. But beneath this icy shell lies a hidden ocean. Scientists believe this ocean is vast. It likely contains more water than all the oceans on Earth combined. This ocean is kept liquid by the tidal forces of Jupiter. The gravity of the giant planet pulls and stretches Ganymede's interior generating heat. The existence of this subsurface ocean is tantalizing. It raises the possibility of life beyond Earth. Could there be organisms thriving in the depths of Ganymede's ocean? We don't know yet, but the possibility is there. These extreme environments make Ganymede a fascinating target for exploration. Studying this moon could help us understand the limits of life. It could also teach us about how planets and moons form in the first place. Studying Ganymede is not easy. It's incredibly far away. Even at the speed of light, it takes over eight minutes for a signal to travel from Ganymede to Earth. This vast distance presents significant challenges for communication and data transmission. The harsh environment around Jupiter poses another obstacle. The intense radiation belt surrounding the giant planet can damage sensitive electronics. Spacecraft sent to study Ganymede must be specially shielded. Their instruments must be designed to withstand the intense radiation. Despite these challenges, scientists have persevered. They've developed innovative ways to study Ganymede from afar. One method is to use telescopes in space. These telescopes orbit Earth above the distorting effects of our atmosphere. This allows them to capture much clearer images of Ganymede. Another approach is to send robotic probes to Jupiter. These probes can fly past Ganymede, collecting valuable data about its composition, magnetic field, and the structure of its subsurface ocean. These missions are complex and require years of planning and development but the rewards are worth it. Section four, unveiling the mysteries. Over the years, several missions have ventured to Jupiter and its moons. One of the most successful was the Galileo spacecraft. Galileo orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003. During its mission, Galileo made multiple flybys of Ganymede, capturing stunning images of the moon's surface and providing valuable data about its magnetic field and the evidence of a subsurface ocean. Currently, the Juno spacecraft is in orbit around Jupiter. Juno's primary mission is to study Jupiter's atmosphere and interior. However, Juno has also made distant observations of Ganymede, providing further insights into this intriguing moon. In the future, the JUICE mission, which stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, will focus specifically on Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. JUICE is expected to launch in the 2020s and arrive at Jupiter in the 2030s. This mission will orbit Ganymede, providing the most detailed study of this moon yet. These missions and others like them are slowly but surely unveiling the mysteries of Ganymede. With each new piece of data, each new image, we gain a deeper understanding of this fascinating world. Section 5 Ganymede's Hidden Ocean One of the most exciting discoveries about Ganymede is the presence of a subsurface ocean. Scientists suspected an ocean beneath its icy shell. Evidence from the Galileo mission hinted at its existence. Hubble confirmed it by observing auroras on Ganymede. These auroras indicated a salty, electrically conductive ocean. This discovery has profound implications for the search for life beyond Earth. Ganymede's ocean makes it a prime candidate for hosting extraterrestrial life. Section 6, A Window into the Solar System Ganymede is more than just a moon, it's a time capsule. It holds clues to the early solar system. By studying Ganymede, we learn about the conditions when planets were forming. Its surface composition and magnetic field reveal processes that shaped our solar system. Certain minerals suggest Ganymede formed in a different part of the solar system. Studying its interaction with Jupiter's magnetosphere helps us understand planet-moon relationships. 
As we explore Ganymede, we make exciting discoveries. Once a faint point in Galileo's telescope, Ganymede now fascinates scientists and space enthusiasts.